fair to say that there's been a lot of characters and a lot of people involved in the success of the vineyard. In 1925, my great-grandfather Reg purchased the property. My grandfather Eric visited the property just after purchase, fell in love with Tabilk and then spent the next number of years trying to convince his dad to run it and restore it as a winery. Grandfather had set about the restoration of the winery and he made some brave decisions. He decided that he was going to make table wine and it was only fortified wines that were selling in Australia in those days. He also decided that not only was he going to make table wine, but he was actually going to call them by their varietal name. Consequently, he didn't sell a lot of wine <laughs> running up to the Second World War. Post the Second World War, with the influx of uh, Europeans and brought their lifestyle with them. The fortunes of Tabilk changed completely. Table wine became more commonly drunk and then the industry really started to take off. In 1978, Dad mentioned as part of his yearly wrap-up and Christmas speech that he was going to move to Sydney. He hadn't told my grandfather, he hadn't told me, hadn't told Mum. <laughs> Manager of the day, piped up and said, well, John, if you're moving to Sydney, who's actually going to manage to build? And Dad said, oh, Alistair, which was an extra surprise for me. I felt that it wasn't going to be successful having the two of us here. And Alistair seemed to have a regard for Tabilk. So I resigned and he sort of took over Tabilk at the age of probably 24, 25. And I look at Alistair, I think, wow, it's pretty incredible what he's done in the business. He's been a real stabilising force, but also been able to achieve so much growth. I lent on my grandfather a lot for advice in so many areas that I knew so little about. And so out of that, I actually forged a really intense relationship uh, with grandfather. Uh, so <laughs> Haley is the first of the next gens to actually work at Tabilk full time. She's been with us for about 10 years now and he has brought a different perspective on how things could or should be done. I look back on previous generations who've been at Tabilk, I often think they've all brought their generation sort of values and beliefs of the day and I think that's a huge benefit of having a multi-generational business, we're going down a really nice path of becoming greener and more environmentally conscious. I'd like to think our generation brings environmental values back to the fore so that we have more of a balance in the world. We always think of Tabilk as being the heart and soul of what the Purbrick family is all about. I really think the success for Tabilk really has come from families' values and having that open dialogue. A lot of the people who work at Tabilk feel like they are part of the family and that those values from the family also feed into Tabilk and what we do here. Tabilk is in outstanding hands. Alistair, Hayley, all my children, doing so well naturally. And this is without any complication the most wonderful thing that I will go out of my life with.